You have one free 98 overall Madden Bowl player to pick from. We're going to go through the best options and which one you should add to your squad. Let's jump into it. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. So, in today's video, we're going to go through the Madden Bowl event that is going on right now in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. So, this Madden Bowl event, basically, long story short, is coinciding with the actual Madden Bowl, where there's a triathlon of events where you have to do a seasons game, a draft game, a there's, there's just stuff going on. All right, Madden Bowl, we got it coming up this week. Long story short, that one. All right, so before we jump into that and how you can get the free 98 and who is the best option to pick from, so I want to let you know if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by if you'd be so kind to hit the subscribe button down below notification bell right next to where you're notified anytime i'm live right here with my brand new content also if you like this video like everything you see like these options thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up on the video and in the comment section down below let me know which one of these players you are adding to your squad let's get into it so if you loaded into madden 21 ultimate team today as you'll see right here madden 21 bowl madden bowl here madden champions master pack earn the madden champions fantasy pack with a choice of one of four nat 98 masters by winning games in three of the modes displayed in the madden bowl now there's no expiration date on this so i'm assuming you take it as your own pace but i'm sure some of you can go ahead and crank these out all long story short here it's about 10 online wins which isn't a lot um, you could get the ranked draft games probably pretty easily the squad seasons games I will let you guys know that in my discord There's a link below in the description and I'll show you a video right here of how to do it All you got to do is join the discord there You got to click a little robot down there to agree to the rules and once you agree to the rules there You're gonna look for the co-op squads events um, Go into that little group there into those groups of messages And then once you go in there you can go ahead and type and match up with other people as you can see some people have done it previously So you're not alone. I'll be popping in there for xbox exclusively um, to get some squad seasons games in if you're next gen old gen whatever the case may be um, we'll jump in and get some stuff done there um, but i'm in no rush to get these 98 so um, you know when i jump in i'll be go ahead and uh, match up with whoever comes first comes first serve but you can go ahead in there for playstation pc whoever is there to help you out you can go into the discord there and find a new buddy now ranked draft i honestly have not played draft much at all this year i played it once this morning and i just hated it everything that happened i had vince young as my quarterback i felt like i was throwing stevies all day it was the worst uh, but then five to head to head seasons games I already won one of them as you can see so you can go ahead and do that as well through seasons now it's important to note it does not say weekend league it also does not say the new um whatchamacallit here the new all madden seasons i'm gonna assume it it, it counts but if you're all madden seasons player maybe it'll count there i haven't tested it i'm not gonna test it either because that means i'd have to actually try to win an all madden head to head seasons game in april so no but I will say it does say head to head season. So that's all well and good. The other thing to keep a note too is when you open the game today, your unopened pack right here, you're gonna see the Madden Bowl pack right there. It's gonna be a little kickoff pack type deal. We already saw this yesterday in the video we went over, but here's the actual uh, look of it here. So it's gonna give you this little mutt tip and it basically will tell you Madden Bowl culmination, blah, blah, blah. We went over that last night. So you can go ahead and sell that for a hundred coins. So let's jump into the players and pick the best ones. So I'm going to start here from four and work my way up. Now, these are all in order of how I like them the best, but it's important to know all these are really good cards, right? And also important to know that if you need somebody for your theme team, they're going to be a monster on your theme team. It's a 98 overall. They're going to get boosted to high hell and they're going to have some good stuff with Sprinter Shaker, whatever you run with uh, Lockdown or Go Deep, whatever chems it is for a specific player. So I'm not here to hate on a specific guy for your theme team or whatever. I'm just going off the, the player as it is stock right there and we'll to compare it to other players because we're at a point of the game right now where we kind of have to compare it to other guys and see if it's actually even worth it to add to our god squad so to speak right if you're not somebody who needs alan lazard for example for your packers team team another thing to keep in mind too with these dudes you can boost them up with a power pass get them through their whole progress there and then you can also use them on your team in that way there's currently no trading bypass right now for any of these guys like we had previously with the cardinals players you remember kyler murray patrick peterson chandler jones and larry fitzgerald um currently no trading bypass right here but um i'd imagine there might be one in the future if not in a couple weeks here um as we get more stuff added to the game as the year wraps up so uh lazard here is going to come in with 96 speed 97 catch uh 98 short route running 95 medium 97 deep route running stock with 95 spec after the catch he's a little suspect there um especially there is carrying's a little low at 91 but it is what it is i'm not mad at it at all but alan lazard isn't bad here he's 65 227 
but when you compare them to other receivers that have come out recently and here are five of them i just picked out no rhyme or reason uh four of these guys are on my team but uh, granted four of them are really good five of them are really good receivers here right so these are six good wide receivers good receivers that you can get out there on your theme teams whatever the case may be so uh case in point here lions theme teamer right you got galladay you got calvin johnson uh you got golden tate there is there really a need for alan lazard to uh you know maybe get one more speed over golden tate or or kenny galladay uh not really right i mean for me my theme team i'm giant so i've galladay and golden tate so is alan lazard really that much better than everybody else not really right i mean like that's this is what i keep talking to you guys about um as we go through and everybody's like oh who should i get for my team uh, it doesn't matter how do you play what works best for your team what works best for you so alan lazard is nice he's solid but is he that much better than you know anybody else here if i just went ahead and gave you these stats stock i mean Alan, there's a lot more greens on this side than there is here for alan lazard right you want to see reds if you want to have Alan Lazard on your team better than any of these guys. And there's not a lot of red here. I mean, over here on the far side, that's Golden Tate, but he's a 97. And right here, Kenny Galladay has red here, uh, route running and such and juke move. But um, if you scroll down here, even still, Alan Lazard is, is you know, not, not anywhere near any of these dudes. Like right here, he has Stefan Diggs on blocking like cool man like you know, you know what i'm saying so it really depends on what you like what you want to do i i like lazard i just don't think he's the best option you can pick uh third up for me is going to be ezekiel elliott 97 speed here on zeke 93 truck 95 cod 97 break tackle 96 carries really nice 97 ball carry vision uh 93 stiff arm pretty solid here for zeke 78 catch is solid it's all right it's it's not the best but another 98 right you're gonna put this on your theme team is gonna be chemmed up to a 99 gold 99 when he's in the power up there so it's gonna be nice but again ezekiel elliott compare him to four different running backs here derrick henry alvin kamara stephen jackson michael turner let's add Dre archer in here too because i didn't forgot to add Dre archer um none of these guys are even on my team i just know that i'm not gonna you know add zeke as a cowboy on there but when you see zeke you compare him to some of these guys Zeke has an argument over some of these dudes here in terms of uh, agility, COD, awareness, speed, even for some of these dudes. But where these dudes shine is on the other intangibles, right? You got the route running in there for some of them, run blocking some of them. Um, so, I mean, it just depends on what you want, right? So break tackle here on Zeke's really good, but so is it on the other dudes, right? 99, 98, 97, 98, 97. You know what I mean? Over here, Dre Archer. Um, you know, he's really good after the catch with the juke move, spin move. Um, stiff arm there. Obviously, Derrick Henry's going to be really nice with it. So it really depends on what you like. This Zeke Elliott is a really good running back card. Um, you like to see the Reds here, especially if you're a Cowboys fan. You're getting a really good running back. But you got to remember what it's in comparison to. You know, two of these dudes, three of these dudes are, are thick, thick, thicky backs. And that's kind of the meta, unless you're throwing the ball to a guy like Kamara or even um, getting a really, really fast uh, uh, kind of a read option offense, so to speak, with Dre Archer, or even doing some wheel routes with Archer there out of the backfield. So it's really up to you and how you play. Ezekiel Elliott's not bad. He's an elus elusive back archetype, excuse me. So not a horrible archetype there. Um, I just don't know if he's actually worth like dropping everything and picking him up in, in favor of another running back you might already have, right? And then again, all these guys, you can definitely use a power pass on all the 98s too, so keep that in mind. Number two here for me is gonna be Shaq Griffin. Now I do like Shaq Griffin a lot in comparison to number one, but Shaq Griffin is ahead of the offensive dudes in part because look, let's be honest, there are a lot of good running backs, a lot of good receivers out there, and there's a lot of good players that you're gonna be adding to your team already if you haven't already. Corners and safeties are kind of added a little bit of a premium here it's exclusion of the last couple weeks here with the corners but safeties especially but this corner is Shaq Griffin he's not bad at all we got 98 speed on him stock 92 zones probably the only factor that's a little bit low but you can boost that up with lockdown obviously zone coverage should hit 99 94 press he also gets Jaguars chems obviously um he just went ahead and joined there so 97 excel for him 96 press our uh, play rack excuse me 94 press so it's not bad at all I really do like this dude but how is he in comparison to other corners that just came out Antonio Cromartie Joe Hayden Dunta uh, Jalen Ramsey and all the way at the end there is going to be Marlon Humphrey. Um, we can't even uh, like stretch it out a little bit, but it's Marlon Humphrey all the way off to the side there. Griffin here comes in at 98 speed stock, which is really nice. He's the fastest out of the whole group. Faster than Dunta, faster than Marlon, um, definitely faster than Crow or Hayden. But where it comes in here is when you scroll down to the defensive end here, um, 
he's okay here. He has Crow on some stuff here, but once you get into Hayden, Dunta, Jalen, and Marlon, it's kind of a different story. So Joe Hayden, he has a little bit right here, though, is the problem, right? And I believe this one is Jalen or Dunta Robinson. Yeah, Dunta Robinson is really, really good there. Um, basically, all around is a corner. Um, play Rex just a little bit lower, but that's not bad. Right here, though, also very good. Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey's zone coverage is just one off. And then also the pursuit is a little bit lower, but everything else on Ramsey is up on him, especially that man coverage, especially the press. So that's gonna be important there. And then also all the way up to the side again, Marlon Humphrey. Marlon again is lower on the zone, but up there, 99 man, 98 press, 98 play rack. So it's really up to you and how you play what you like there. Uh, Shaq Griffin's archetype is a zone archetype, which is a good archetype right now, especially with the uh, higher overall dudes, because a lot of the corners right now, um, it kind of just depends on how you play. If you do a man to man type scheme and you're really like juicing up with the blitz, sending a lot of guys down and you have man-to-man -man on the outside and, and good corners pressing on the inside that's up to you but if you like to play more of a zone type style kind of uh watch the whole field there maybe Shaq Griffin is the one for you I do like Shaq uh six foot even so that's a pretty good size there as well at the cornerback position but my favorite number one out of all of them is Justin Reed and he's been a really good safety all year six foot one 200 pounds there so he's a little bit thinner than you like but I do like Reed, 97 speed stock on him with 94 man, 98 zone, which is really good for a safety. 94 man there, even so that you're not putting your safeties into man much, even if you have to, and I always talk about this, if I have to some reason put him in a man coverage situation, I'm not that worried. 94 man right there is good. The only kind of low factor here is his hit power at 90. He just got an upgrade not too long ago, right? So his 96 was already boosted up to like a 98, but this is gonna be a really good card. Uh, 98 boosted up to a 99. And a lot of these guys got cards recently. Uh, Shaq didn't actually, I'm, I'm a liar. 93, but Zeke recently got a 95 and Alan Lazard also got a 95 NFL playoffs card. So it's so kind of surprising some of these guys got upgrades especially Reed here with the 96 already, his uh, LTD was really nice. But Reed in comparison to other safeties, I like him a lot too. Uh, these are, so, and this is what I mean by slim pickings on the safety end, right? If you look at the corners here, there's two pages of corners, right? Now, if we look at the running backs, how many pages of running backs? And these are 97 to 99 overalls, right? How many pages of running backs? Two pages of running backs right there. And then you go to wide receivers, if you look through the receivers, there's <laughs> there's another two pages of wide receivers. But if you go to free safety, there's literally from 97 to 99, only one page of free safety. So Reed here doesn't have a lot of competition, right? You have some of the new masters with Harmon, Huda Baker, Marcus May, Marcus Williams, Minka. These guys might be super expensive. Minter might be super expensive. And Ronnie Lott might not be your cup of tea. So this dude as a free safety that's also free in the game, as good as it is, I really like it. Now Minka has him on some intangibles, agility, COD, acceleration. Uh, so does Ronnie Lott there. Buddha also a little bit, but in comparison to a guy like Wet on Sean Taylor, Justin Reed has those do. So, you know, top flight free safeties here have him on some stuff, but Reed is competitive with them. Um, if you scroll down to the defensive stuff, Reed has them on a lot of stuff there, especially right here with Minka. But if you scroll down and check out some of the stuff like power move, finesse move, block shed, if you for some reason want to throw him in there to rush the passer there. Uh, but Minka has him on other stuff like zone and press. Man coverage there at 94 is probably the best. Yeah, it's tied for the best there. Zone coverage at 98, one of the best besides Minka. Press, you're not worried too much about that on a safety, but it is 80, but all these other guys beat him there. Um, the rest of it's pretty solid. 97 pursuit really good there as well so you like that right 89 tackle though is the only thing that's kind of low that's something that i personally don't <laughs> It's hit or miss, you know, depending on how good you or your safeties are back there. Um, you kind of want to wrap up the, the running back if he's breaking through, things like that. So tackle's a little important like that, um, or a tight end that's moving out like Shockey. And hit power two is the lowest out of all of them. Tied right here with Eric Weddle is the lowest. But again, if you're using him back there as a deep zone safety, making plays, he's six foot one, so he's not tiny at all. Um, so he'll make some plays that back there for you for sure. So I really like Justin Reed. He's probably my favorite out of all four of them, but again, all these dudes are really good. They're all good cards. They're all going to do really good things for you and your team. Just make sure you make the right choice. And again, there might be a training bypass down the line. All right. So keep that in mind. But that's going to do it for this video here. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.